Welcome to Free MMO Station. My name's Skylight. I'm gonna give you my first impression of a new 2D free-to-play MMO RPG called Thunder Call. FreeMMOStation.com. Hey friends, how you doing? Everybody okay? You guys, you know, you getting through life? Everything's well? That's good. That's good. Well, I honestly don't know what else to talk about. I'm imagining that this game is just going to be more of like a one-sided uh, dialogue of me either just shitting on the game or maybe, I don't know, me and you and you and you and you. We could maybe talk about something. Uh, I could just probably rant about the genre again. I don't know. I could discuss my personal life, maybe. I, I could, I don't know, do some sort of crazy editorial that's out of nowhere. I could just do a normal, you know, Call of Duty gameplay commentary where I just talk about something random. There's so many things that I could do with this video. And I already know, though, that one of those things is not going to be reviewing this game or critiquing it in any way, doing a proper first impression, uh, and that's going to be positive. I already know that. There's so many other possibilities that I could do with this video, and that is not one of them. Anyways, so, Thunder Call. This is going to be a title by R2 Games, which... I uh, <laughs> I just I just saw that their their slogan is Reality Squared Games. That's like their name, R2 Games Reality Squared Games. Anyways, uh that's kind of silly because these games tend to be a not realistic ever. I I don't what? Maybe it just means like it's it's extra, you know, it's fantastical, so that's how it's reality squared. I don't know, guys. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the commentary. I'm going to try to make this as entertaining as possible. And we are going to go and um we're going to play this game, which is probably going to be like an autoplay 2D action RPG that's sort of like skinned as an MMO. It's going to have barely any MMO aspects to it and blah, blah, blah. You essentially you have a bias coming into this. You probably understand what this game is probably going to be like. Trust me, you're right. That is going to be true. Uh, unless this this blows my mind. OK, maybe this first impression could blow my mind. But anyways, we can only choose from two characters. There's no customization whatsoever. We're going to pick a female mage. Why not? Daisy Jill. That's her name. Uh, Going to clickety-clack. It's uh, played in the browser, by the way, guys. Here we go once again with the gorgeous 2D art. I would I would consider it gorgeous. It's really not bad 2D art. But then again, you have to remember that this art is probably outsourced and then, like, regurgitated and reused throughout the, all these games and, and whatnot. Okay, UI looks pretty usual, blah, blah, blah. Basically, we're just going to kind of let the game kind of do its thing. And, you know, hey, we're, we're going we're gonna to just kind of talk. We're just going to kind of hang out. So we click to move. Got a Diablo-ish uh, UI here. As you can see, the game kind of plays itself. You just kind of click to attack and just things kind of happen. Now, hey, you actually click to use abilities, though. It doesn't look horrible. But I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, wait. No, there's an AFK button. Ah, you have to you have to pay money in order to activate the, the AFK button. You have to spend money. You have to be a VIP, guys. I want to just mention this one more time. You need to spend money in order to not play the game. Anyways, we know what kind of game this is, but we're gonna, you know, we're just gonna go through it and kind of make fun of it and try to try to have fun ourselves. Okay, so we saved a goddess. Are you hurt? Where did these monsters come from? Demons are invading and disaster is imminent. Blah blah blah. I didn't even get time to read that. I don't, I don't even care. Anyways, better go to the city. Blah blah blah. Continue. Okay, okay, things are happening. Here we go, scanning clad women. Oh, babies. You know, I I enjoy games. I will admit, I'm kind of deviant myself. I am perverse in ways. <laughs> I enjoy games that are overly sexualized, um, ridiculous, but are tasteful about it. Okay, I'm going to admit, Blade and Soul, I think its art style is really unique. Yes, it's kind of extremely sexualized, but like it's done in a proper way. You know, there's actually, there's actual literally like smut. There's literally porn games that actually have more content and more mechanics than games like this. Games like this that present themselves as actual MMOs, actual, you know, titles, but really, they're, they're not, uh, generally. Now, there are some autoplay games that, I guess we can call them autoplay games. I don't know the proper definition of the genre because, I, I don't know, they, they all call themselves different things, let's be honest. They're like, MMO, action RPG, but they don't have action, they don't, they're not really MMOs, you know? They just basically, they kind of autoplay themselves, or they're so easy that it's just AFK worthy. Um, pay to, these pay to win, generally like Chinese games. Generally. Um, anyway, so we go pick up some gold, whoop doo 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 Come on, dude, you couldn't give us, any, like, a different classes, there's no customization at all? Look at this, dude, this is no trouble, this is, this is no trouble at all. Like, this is... Hey, at least the game does have audio. I play a lot of these games and they don't have audio. So, at least it does have that, you know? Yay, we got things. Yay. Super short levels, etc., etc. 
So what do you, what do you, what kind of games do you guys do you look forward to? I mean, do you, do you ever hope that one day that there's going to be a legitimate 2D MMO that's like legitimately like actually freaking awesome? Don't you guys remember the old days, like Ragnarok Online? And now we have the new Tree of Savior, which is pretty decent. That is a 2D game. But I mean, a game that is played in the browser, that could actually be good. Do you remember your childhood when those games existed? When everyone was trying to do new things and trying to leave their mark? And then games like RuneScape came about. RuneScape was fantastic for the time. It was amazing. Everyone loved RuneScape. People still love RuneScape. But, and Ragnarok as well. But we see like such a regurgitation of the genre, of, the, of this genre, with nothing new. Nothing's really sticking. And the only games that are popular are just because they have a huge amount of advertisements. Like Game of War. That's just a big game that I hate. I hate Game of War. I don't think there's any actual gameplay to Game of War. It's literally just whoever spends the most amount of time or money. It's not like any actual skill. Versus Clash of Clans, which is still pay to win, but hey, at least there's actual gameplay to it. Some games are popular because of advertisements. Some games are popular because they're actually great. And I really just want to see a game. I really do want to see a game in this genre that maybe looks like this. That maybe plays like this, but actually done right. That's what I want. An actual, real, 2D. And if, if you have to go the RPG route, then please make it actually important and special and cool. Yes, these 2D characters have really good drawn art. Yes, the background art is really good. But the dialogue is disgusting. Most of the time, it's going to have translation errors, stuff like that. And then, like, there's probably going to be no upgrade, like, true upgrading. Nothing really special to the characters. The game is basically just super easy, and then at the very end, it gets super hard, and you have to, like, pay money to win. Like, we know this genre. We know it. I want a game that's real, man. A real game. And that's why we do these first impressions. Because we're trying to find one that might surprise us. Where we start the video saying, well, this game probably won't be good. This is, you know, my biased first impression. And then we get into the game. And then it's like, oh my god, I was completely wrong. Wow, this game is so awesome. You know what? Everybody should probably give this game a shot. But that's, that has not been the case. In my years of doing this, it has not been the case. There's been one game, okay? There's been one game that maybe was kind of close. But in the end, after after my first impression, after about 15 minutes, on that 16th minute, I real and then they introduced the AFK button. Yeah. If your game has an AFK button, I don't think so. There's nothing wrong with like auto systems, but if your game literally allows you to play the entire like if you can literally AFK from the, the game and it plays the game for you, that's not cool. Black Desert has fishing. I, that, that's understandable. You, your character can fish. You can also set your character to run around, you know, do laps or whatever. It's not playing the entire game for you. It's not doing combat for you. It's not beating bosses for you. It's not going through dungeons for you. And this is the kind of game. Am I completely biased against it? Yes. I'm completely biased against this game because, I don't know, there's just a lot of games, especially about R2 games that are just like this. They're just like this. It's uninteresting. I probably spent, you know, honestly, seven more minutes than I wanted to on this kind of game. But I do want to show it off just in just in case you never know if it's going to be super special or not. So anyways, we just have the usual questing, pick up quests, just hit just basically the game plays itself. You just kind of click on the menu and your character walks around. I'm sure there's going to be some dungeons. I bet the PvP is asynchronous. Um, I, I don't know, apparently we get a goddess. We can choose, here's our goddess, unlocks at level 15. You know, wow, the rate at which things unlock in this game is so slow. Like, basically, if you do a first impression, you don't even get the proper chance to say if, like, the PvP is bad, or if the customization is bad. Can't do that in normal first impression. I'm not about to spend three hours reviewing this game. Because, so far, everything else has been identical, literally, everything else has been identical to their other games. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's... I can understand what else is going to be identical the rest of the game. Actually, I'm surprised. Like, how can they shovel out so many games? And it's not just R2 games. In fact, I'm almost convinced that it's the same company, just using different company names, you know, as a guys, as a front. Anyways, I just don't see how they can come out with so many games. Like, don't they compete with each other? Why don't they just spend, like, like these, these two years? Why don't they just spend two years, or even just one full year, developing one actual game versus these, like, money grabs? Why? Why not? Why? Why do they do this? 
Because guys, I have played, I've literally, I've literally played a Facebook action RPG that looked like this, okay? That honestly, you know, it had shittier graphics. It, it was shittier frame rate. It was, it was basically all in all, it should have been a bad game. But I actually played it with my little cousin. We actually had fun because there was some difficulty. There were some mechanics. It was an actual action RPG. But a game like this, like I've, I've literally played worse games and had so much more fun because they're actually games. I don't care what kind of polish you put on this for advertising, you know, the art, etc. Just for advertising. It doesn't matter. When you actually get into the game and you realize what kind of game it is, you find it's not fun. And if you think this kind of game is fun, I'm going to come out and say it. I'm going to say you're probably ignorant. You probably don't know what good gaming is. You don't know what, a, what the, a good game in the genre can be. And you should probably go explore some different games. If you're looking for an action RPG, Path of Exile is hands down, it is the best free-to-play action RPG. That's completely uncontested. Uh, if you're looking for a free-to-play MMO, there's a wide wealth of them, but I will admit, a lot of them do follow usual routes. And there's not too many that are 2D. If you're looking for a game that is 2D, and kind of feels like an action RPG, but is more of an MMO, we got the new game Tree of Savior coming out. There's a lot of games out there, you can even check through Free MMO Station, check out some of our other first impressions, and you'll find a game that's good for you. But however, we will check out these games every once in a while that we, we kind of assume will be bad, we want to check them out just to make sure to cover, you know, all of our corners, make sure nothing, no stone is left unturned, because we want to find the best games for you guys, so that we can all play together and, and uh, just, you know, have a good time. So thanks for watching. I'm going to end the first impression here. We can just basically see that it's the usual stuff. In fact, if I click the, the cash shop, I bet it's uh, going to be pay to win stuff. So what is this? Use to add a socket to your gear. It doesn't really explain it. You just add sockets, man. Items. Can we just straight up buy things? Um, use it to add, entering infinity tower. So you have to actually purchase items to go and do dungeons, a specific dungeon, apparently. Uh, we used to add attempts entering. OK, so you have to actually purchase items in order to actually play the game. Hey, at least it doesn't have an energy system. No, wait, it does. It does have a stamina. It does have a stamina system. Um, and then what is this? Use to upgrade Class B Wabbit to... Okay, so there's upgrading. And you can buy Goddesses, which is... Pay to win. It increases your battle rating. Okay. So yeah, usual stuff. Usual everything. We really don't even need to dive all the way through the game. But hey, thanks for listening to me talk. If you like listening to me talk, I do top 10s and editorials on my personal channel, Skyland Games, youtube.com slash Skyland Games, and I stream lots of games all the time. Currently doing Dark Souls 3, by the way, playthrough, at twitch.tv slash Skyland. And thanks for watching. I'm always here at Free MMO Station. Hopefully we have all become friends and uh, you understand my biases. So if you actually have seen a game in this genre that is really good, please mention it. I will try it. I'm not against trying these games, as you can tell. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm always here having fun, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.